this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. In this episode, I will show you step by step how to create amazing video titles in Microsoft PowerPoint. Yes, only PowerPoint. You won't be requiring any other third party video editing software. So before we deep dive, a gentle request to like, share and comment on this video. And if you are new to this channel, can you subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the notification of our upcoming updates. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. So without much ado, let's get started. So this is already some animation that I've already done in PowerPoint. I will quickly show you first what is the effect and then we will as usual replicate and try to do the same effect. So let's play this thing. So see how the water bubbles are actually playing inside the video itself as well as a reverse bubble is flowing inside the text. Let's see the next one. You have one background at the back, and a different background inside the text. And the last one, you have one video and one text superimposed on it. And while the person is like, and while the person is cycling, the and passing through the text the effect is changing. Let's see how we create this type of effects in PowerPoint. Great. So as usual, we'll create an empty space and we will use everything that is present inside the PowerPoint. So we'll just go and insert a video. And we will just simply go to the stock video and say, let's take this one, which I have taken in the example. Lovely. So this video plays as it is. For the time being, don't use any design ideas. This is my background video. What I want, I will go to the playback and I will trim the video to exactly 10 seconds. I don't want too long a video. What I will next do, go to animation, put the animation panel on and delete all the animation that is there. We will visit this thing a bit later. Now the next thing I have to do we will copy and paste this video. Okay. So one video in top of another video. Simple. Okay. Great. And for our effect, let us just reverse the video. I will just make it top down. Okay, so this is your back video. This is your front video. Lovely. Now I will go and insert a text box. And let us type underwater adventure. Perfect. Go to a font selection, select a thick font, increase the size. Center aligned. Perfect. Great. I am not going into the nitty gritty, but you can always define the line space. Go to exactly reduce the size. and bring it to the center. Now, what we have to do, we have to create a shape 
based on the video, the background, and the text in the front. So for this, if you see over here, we have a merge shape icon at the top of the ribbon. And if it is not there, you have to somehow turn it on. How you will turn it on? We'll go to file. You have to go to options. You have to go to quick access toolbar. And if the merge shapes are not there, you have to just click on this all commands over here, go down and select the merge shape from here. So since the merge shape is already there, you are not seeing it over here. We only so see over here, the merge shape is there. Okay. So you have to just add it into your toolbar. So for us, it is already there. So we have selected these two things. Great. And now we have to go to simply this merge shape and say intersect. See, fantastic, right? So this video is at the background and this particular cute stuff has actually formed over here with the video from the back, okay? So this is no longer a text. It has converted into a shape which has a video as fill. Great. So we can go to shape effects. You can go to the outlines. You can give a good outline. You can also give some shadow. And you can also edit the video. Like you can blur the shadow a bit, increase or decrease the transparency of the shadow, and we are done. But to play the video together, we have to do certain tricks. You have to go to the animation panel. If it is already not on, go to animation panel. Great. And we have to play this video. How? See, over here by default, any video is kept as when clicked on. We will put it automatically and loop until stop. But over here, you have to right click over here and say with previous. Also, this thing as with previous. Now we go to the topmost layer where we have the text with the video fill and we also have to do the same thing over there. Go to playback, automatically loop until stop. But over here, see they have gone below and it is having a mouse click to start with. So we have to say start with previous and check if everything is start with previous. Perfect, we are done. Now let's play and see how it works. Lovely. It's exactly what we expected, right? Perfect. Let's now do a copy of this slide, paste it, delete this stuff. I need a different video and a different font, great. So as usual, I will go to insert, go to video, stock video, and let's see what we have. Let's try fishes. Well, I have this particular video, I bring it in. So the background is the plain gen under the sea. And the top one, we have a lot of fishes, a shoal of fish um, swimming. So I put a text, say deep sea. And simple, I will go to 
same font. Simple now, we have to click these two things as usual, go to shape selection and say intersect. Simple. So you have the background video. Just check if they are having start with previous. You check your front video. Start with previous. Be careful, go to playback and check if it is turned on or not. So here's your loop until stop. And automatically over here, you can see again on click, right click on it and start with previous. Just check, we have to have all the animations working together. So start with previous. We are done. So if you have to, if you really want to put any different color line, you can do that. If you want dots and dashes to be there, you can also do that. And we are done. Now we play. Let's see. Two different videos playing on top of each other. Lovely, isn't it? The third one is very simple. I will just take another image. Sorry, another video. Go to video, stock video. Let's see if we find that. Yes, this is the cycling person. Perfect. I'll copy and paste top of each other. The back one, I will do a color change. So say for example, I want this gold accent color. And the top one, what I will do, I will first insert a shape or a text, whatever we want. Since we are dealing only with text, let me also stick to text. Right, great. And what I can do, I can just change it to a very bold font. So now what we can do, we can also take this video and we can even change the different design style, but I will take it a bit later. I will select these two things and again, as usual, I will go and intersect. Okay, great. Now you can go to shape effects and you can check what are the different types of shape effect you can give. Let's click on this format video over here. 
from here i can actually check what type of effects i want i want this liner sort of thing black and white two color things perfect and even over here i can change the color the way i want okay so these are the two things that we have to take care see if i take this one there will be gray and black if i take this one it will be white and black and as usual you have to go over here go to video format playback and click on automatically loop until stop turn on your animation pane and see where these things are still showing mouse click you have to just check whether they are starting with previous okay great perfect and simply just play wow so wherever this person is passing this masked video it is having this cartoon tune sort of effect and the other portion is a golden color video so that's all folks hope you have found this video useful if you really like it kindly share like and comment on this video if you are new to this channel can you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our upcoming notifications till we meet again with another useful video goodbye and god bless Thank <laughs> you.